So what's up guys and welcome to the part 2 of tutorial series on how to train custom document classifier with AWS Comprehend servers. In the previous tutorial we have successfully downloaded the BBC news dataset and in this tutorial we are going to prepare the training file for Comprehend custom classifier. So uh, just to take a note uh, Amazon Comprehend custom classification supports up to uh, 1 million examples containing up to 1000 unique classes right so yeah let's get started and write some code in the uh, Jupyter notebook so here we are going to use two libraries that is OS and pandas right so uh, this is not a python tutorial so i will not go uh, in depth uh, regarding the code right so uh, we will define the data frame here that is pd dot data frame i will define mapping for a dictionary mapping will basically the uh, class name or the label name uh, in reference to the uh, files right a file name so I'll, we will have a look uh, once we uh, execute this code then we will have source path uh, that is nothing but uh, the path of our data set that is pbc forward slash pbc in our case right so I'll sim I will just simply execute this. Now uh, we are going to uh, loop through the uh, number of classes, right? So that is five directories. We are going to loop through it. So we will say for i n sorted os dot list there, which is nothing but a source path. and let's print i so so as you can see it's looping through the um, bbc directory and returning all the uh, files of the directory exist in it right so here uh, we don't need readme file or we even don't need dot ds underscore store file right so what we will do is now uh, we will check that whether it is a directory or not so we will say if os dot path dot is it and we will say source path followed by the directory name right or the file name so it will basically check for whether uh, the file or the directory is directory or not right so if it is a directory then we want to uh, perform some action right so here we will use mapping dictionary that is mapping of i which is labels as i said followed by sorted os dot list there followed by source path plus the class name or the directory name right so uh, we will pick up uh, first 300 files from each of the labels or the targets right so i'll just say colon 300 right and i will just run this so let's go ahead and print mapping so mapping looks like this so this is our class name uh, or the labels right and here there will be 300 files the first 300 files right so just to give you an idea mapping dot sorry keys right so these are our five classes and if i say mapping dot values then it will just uh, print out uh, all the file names that we just saw right so moving along so uh, here we will require two things one is label that will be our first column and another is data itself and that is going to be our text file right so we'll define label and data as a list here 
and then uh, I will define a for loop that is for i comma j in mapping dot items here we are unpacking the dictionary into i and j right so basically i is our business entertainment politics sport and tech right and j is our uh, text file uh, within mapped with each of the label right so i will loop through the file name here that is for k and j right and i will say label dot and i and we will say data dot append open source path plus i plus forward slash k right so basically uh, it's we are opening the file we are giving the file path right so source path is bbc forward slash bbc forward slash I will be our directory name for example I will be your business right followed by the first file name that is 001.txt uh, for example right so we are uh, going to open this file right and we will pass the encoding here encoding equal to cp1252 and we are going to read this file so uh, this text file contains uh, lots of uh, new lines and paragraphs right so here we don't need those paragraphs right so so we are going to replace it that is replace we'll say slash n right so new line or the paragraph will be start from slash n right by space so moving along uh, we will run this it says invalid syntax so i just forgot the concatenation operator here oh spell mistake replace right so i just show you what label look like label of 10 right so this is the first 10 elements in the list and i will say data right so this is nothing but the text file that we are reading right now uh, once this is done uh, we are going to uh, assign this data into individual columns in the data frame so it's a data sorry df of label equal to label and df of data equal to data or I will say just document okay so now moving along uh, if I print this df dot head right so as you can say uh, we have label on the on in the one column and document in the another column right uh, and we have map each other with uh, individual label and document so uh, now we are going to shuffle this data right so as you can see uh, it's like business 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 all the business then entertainment then politics right so we'll just simply shuffle this data so as you can see it's all business right then it's tech right and we have total 1500 rows right so I'm going to shuffle this data I will say df equal to df dot sample so we'll say frag equal to one dot reset underscore index drop equal to true so here we are doing uh, a reshuffling of the data right and we are just dropping the index so if we don't drop the index uh, here it will create the new column uh, which will be named as index right so I'm going to run this and now if I say df dot head so as you can see now all the data has been reshuffled right so now once this is done now we are going to save this file as csv right so in pandas we have simple command that is df dot two underscore csv not a command uh, it's a method right I will say train dot csv 
we don't need index so i will say index equal to false we even don't need header right so header is nothing but this label and document it's a header right so we don't need that so i'll say header equal to false now we'll just run this command and the file is successfully saved so we will have a look in the directory so as you can see train.csv is here let's open it and see so as you can see uh, we have a uh, label and the document itself right so well yeah uh, that's it for now so probably in the next tutorial we are going to pass this train.csv to train the comprehend custom document classifier right so as usual if you want me to do the tutorial on any specific service or use case you have then please leave them in comment uh, i will try my best to come up with tutorial for the same if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time